Oh. Yeah, so the manager's a piece of Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're just <laughs> stupid. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Howdy hools, welcome back to the Daydream Arcade. I'm Daryl, and this is my lovely co-host Brianna. Hi. It's been uh it's been a it's been a week. It's been it's been uh it's been crazy. Uh I am so close to losing my marbles. But it's okay <laughs> a mood. because we're here today for another spicy Reddit story video. And I apologize ahead of time if my video is a little bit laggy. I've been having problems with OBS in my camera, the technical stuff that I won't bore you all with. But if I'm a, if I'm a little little choppy today, I, I, I apologize. I'm sorry, but we're going to do our best. <laughs> this entire week, I have been dealing with a bunch of weenies, Briannicus, in my personal life. So I thought, why not I get come to that. the table with some... Am I the weenie? I am so down to judge assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist, we're actually judging like pictures of bottles. Oh, all right. So you already know what it is, brothers and sisters and everything in between. It's Am I the Weenie today. It's. I feel like it's been a little bit since we've done weenies. Some would say that you've never done weenies. <laughs> <laughs> and some would be correct. <laughs> so my first story is posted by user Child Free Wedding Son. <laughs> and the title is, Am I the Weenie for Refusing to Have a Fully Child Free Wedding? Alrighty. This one's... I guess it would depend on the age, but let's see. Yeah, you, you, you're about to get that context. So I recently proposed to my long-term girlfriend, and we are planning for a wedding in summer next year. Everything is still very early stages. My fiancé has expressed that she wants a child-free wedding, which I am all down for, but I want to make one exception. My son. 15 male. I had him from, from a previous relationship and we have evenly split custody of him. Until now, my fiance has gotten along great with him. We've had days out as a family. She's gone to see his games. He plays IHOP. Ugh. Ugh. He plays IHOP. <laughs> he plays IHOP. <laughs> Is that other on the, on the rink? Uh, Hit the pancake, son! <laughs> he plays IHOP. That was good. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, he plays ice hockey. And she's even taking him out on fun days, just the two of them. <laughs> what is happening? Stroke. Are you okay? I'm having a stroke, <laughs> dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. Were you, were, how, how bad were you in school when you would get called to read a paragraph in a book or something like that? I don't think I was that bad. I tried to get through it as fast as I could. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you never I stumbled don't. or anything like that or embarrassed yourself? I, absolutely. I've, I'm sure I have. Like, that's why Just I block hate. those out. You know, yeah, your brain no. can only handle so much. I can't. There's too much trauma that I need to let go of some. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting, oh, that's so sad. Because it's, it's like sometimes you accumulate so much trauma that your brain just... No, literally. It's like, just like, right. <laughs> Just like deletes it or just like moves it to like another location. Just buries it, it deep in the folder. filing cabinets of yeah. your mind. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> and she's even taken him out on fun days, just the two of them. All right. Now that we've got that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I brought up that I wanted to make an exception to the no kids rule for my son. She shot the idea down straight away and said that she didn't want anyone under 16 there as she doesn't want to feel like she or anyone else has to babysit on her special day. He's 15. Like, yeah, also, like, that's, like, okay, okay, this like, is kind of reminding me of that one story that we did a long time ago, uh -huh. um, maybe, like, two months ago, maybe even a month ago, um, do you remember that story where it was the fiancé didn't want the husband's child, the child was younger, not 15, probably, like, single digits, uh -huh. but she didn't want him to bring uh his daughter she didn't want his daughter to be present at the wedding or something i forget why maybe it was because I think I she was from a previous marriage or something yeah but yeah um yeah if you guys haven't seen it it'll be in the here i told her that no one would have to babysit him he's 15 and she knows he's well behaved and a generally quiet kid she then changed her reasoning and asked why i wanted my old family and life on the day i was supposed to be making a commitment to her and our new family. I told her while I will be making a commitment to her, my son will still very much be my son and my family. She then equated it to wanting my ex at our wedding, which I do not and never asked. 
Ooh. I, okay. I, yeah, that's crazy. I told her that I don't care about the aesthetics of the wedding and that she can pick everything else, the food, the aesthetic, the music, the dress, but all I want is my family at the wedding, my parents, my sisters, and my son. That is my only ultimatum when it comes to our wedding. She started calling me controlling by giving me an ultimatum and said I had initially agreed to a child-free wedding and now I'm gaslighting her. I said we can have a mainly child-free wedding, but with one exception, an exception that guests... Uh, can't even complain about being unfair since the only child is the son of the groom. She called me a dick and is now t not talking to me. I really think this is a reasonable want, but maybe I'm not seeing something. So am I the weenie? Yeah. No. Oh, wait, no, 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 sorry. No, sorry. The, so, yeah. No, 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 the one. Sorry, the other person is the one. Oh, God. The fiancé is the weenie. The fiancé is the weenie. Sorry. My life just flashed before my fucking eyes there. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> And then you're like, no. And then, no. Um, and then, <laughs> I swear I was listening to the same story as you. <laughs> I promise I was listening. God. Yeah, no, 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 no. You are not the weenie. The, uh, quite the opposite, rather. So what I'm confused about is like, so the overall consensus. So you say not the weenie, right? Yeah. The overall consensus is they are the weenie, but all the comments are saying wow your fiance sucks like why are they saying that this person's the weenie and not the fiance i don't get it did people just judge this wrong do we have mo May moderators so, moderators no literally like the uh the top comment is from a mod or like the pinned comment i guess is the flare is correct meaning like the vote and won't be changed the top vote was you would be the weenie if you mean not the weenie, but want to use another vote to make a point, you can add spaces, dashes, periods, whatever. So they're saying that's correct. And I don't, I don't I get don't that. agree. That doesn't make sense to me. Did OP, because I know that the, that their fiance uh, accused them of gaslighting them, saying that, you know, they never said childless wedding. Yeah, but like, it and is child And then OP comes free. back and says, uh, yeah. Besides the one kid, which is their son. I don't see why she couldn't make an exception for that. Like why she has to be so and I think she's really being over dramatic with the comparing having his son there at the wedding to compare that to an ex. Having his, yeah. Like his old life. What does that mean? Like, I understand, you know, that child is from another marriage or whatever, but that's not the person, like, he wasn't married to his fucking son, you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah, like, that's weird. Like, that, like, why does that kid have to, you know, why do you have to start this argument over this kid that has absolutely nothing to do with this day, really? Yeah, he's just there for support, bro. And of course... Uh, they would want their son. I don't know if OP, uh, they didn't say their gender. So their son is still very much going to be in the picture. So I don't, I don't see why it's an issue to be at a wedding. Like that's like a ceremony. Why would you not want your family there? They said that they didn't want to be, have to babysit. Like she said she didn't want anyone under 16. He's 15, dude. A year is really going to make a difference. Not really, you know, basically that whole entire like span of teenage years, you think that like you do change a little bit from like 13 to 20, but it's really not that much of a difference. This person, this kid is going to be more than likely well behaved, in my opinion. Like, I don't know the kid. I don't know if the child is not well behaved or anything. Well, they said he's well behaved. Yeah. OK, OK, good. And like they've hung out just the two of them. So we're like, we're yeah, so what's the... Just what's say you the, don't like the kid and move on. I think the answer is wrong. I don't think that the yeah, OP that was, is a weenie. Yeah, I don't get that. It's quite the opposite, rather. Weird. Yeah. yeah. Let us know in the comments. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that they're the weenie, or do you think that they're not? Do you guys agree with us? Do you agree with them? Pick sides. Now. <laughs> Pick sides right now. <laughs> okay, so um, next story. <laughs> Posted by user quiet-collection8476. The title is, Am I the weenie for leaving my stepdaughter's birthday party after my husband threw out the cake I made for her? I, female, have been married to my husband, Jeff, for a year now. He has a daughter, 12, with his deceased wife. 
When I first met Jeff, it was obvious that he was struggling as a single parent. For my stepdaughter's birthday, he'd usually, he'd usually get a cake from the bakery. This has been the case since her mom passed away. I thought I'd bake her a birthday cake for her 12th birthday, that was last week, as a gesture to show some motherly love and support. Jeff agreed, and he told me what his daughter's favorite flavors are and what she likes and so on. I baked the cake in the flavor she likes and the icing she likes, but one thing was missing, and that is the blueberries, and I couldn't include them because I went to the near store and they didn't have them. I was running out of time and couldn't get them, so I ended up just leaving the cake as is, thinking it wouldn't be a big deal. The party started, and Jeff was busy taking care of everything else. He then came into the kitchen and asked to see the cake before bringing it out. I showed it to him, and he got so angry when he saw that there were no blueberries on top. He went on and on about how I didn't fully commit to making the cake and that he trusted me to take care of it and just basically saying that he should have just ordered one from the bakery. He got into an argument and he ended up taking it and throwing it in the trash can. I was stunned as he said, you know what, forget it. I'll get one from the bakery. I blew up and screamed at him. He told me to stop, but I went upstairs, got dressed and left. He tried getting me to stay, but I refused and went to my parents. He later called and then texted about how I overreacted and hurt him and my stepdaughter by leaving. Also said that I created this situation by not properly making the birthday cake just because I didn't put blueberries on top. I refused to respond, but my parents say he was justified since he must have felt pressured from the stress of making his daughter happy on her birthday. He keeps trying to speak to me, but I don't respond. Am I the weenie? Did I overreact? I I don't think so. Yeah, no. He threw your fucking cake out. You, you like, you know, some, some might... Are you, what, did they did they say that they were busy and that's why they couldn't? I don't know about you, but when I throw a party, like I don't have kids, so I've never thrown a kids party. But just parties in general, when you plan for them, you are more than likely going to get behind. Mm-hmm. It's just especially if there's a lot up to do, you have to you know try not to beat yourself up if you have to do things very last second. Mm-hmm. She said that she didn't have time. She went to the store. They didn't have blueberries. That's not her fault that the store didn't have blueberries. That's the fucking stalker's fault for not having blueberries or the farmer yeah. for not growing blueberries that season. You know, so it's like, uh, and then, you know, it's it's uh, just, I don't know. I don't think that the, hus- the husband was very, seemed very aggressive. Yeah, the, like to know, just throw it the, out. That's weird. Yeah. And then the comment like, oh, you know, I should have just gotten a cake from the bakery. Yeah. It's like, like she, she tried to go out of so her way to time. make a whole it, cake. Yeah, a homemade cake. She didn't have to do that. Exactly. That exactly. That's the whole thing. That's she not didn't her kid. need to. Yeah, she didn't that, that's also a thing. Granted, like she's treating her like uh what's it called? Stepchild? Yes. No. Treating her like an actual child because you know she oh. did marry into the family. But I do I do think it was shitty for her to leave because I feel like then the the stepdaughter kind of thought it was her fault. Because she didn't say anything. Okay, so she so she like stormed off. Yeah, she just like went to her her parents. Okay, yeah, no, I I understand her being upset, but she I, she also didn't need to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like she could have said something to the stepdaughter, maybe like, "Hey, I need to go for a little bit. Like, it's not your fault," or even just like maybe kind of just ignored him and just paid more attention to the stepdaughter Mm -hmm. during the party and then like they could talk or whatever the fuck because then maybe he would have gotten the message (laughs) yes yeah 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 yeah. is the answer are both of them the weenies uh no the uh answer is not the weenie if anything i just feel most bad for the stepdaughter did she see the whole she saw the whole thing go down i don't right i don't i don't i don't think so because i think she was like in the kitchen i don't know man Yeah, yeah that sucks man i don't think OP is the weenie. I think the husband needs to be a little less aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Work on that temper. Work on that temper. Yeah. Watch Beauty and the Beast or something. Like, I yeah, don't literally. <laughs> Next time, get blueberries on the cake. Damn it. <laughs> Next time, just find blueberries, dude. <laughs> like... <laughs> It reminds me of like this this parfait thing that my mom used to make on the Fourth of July. I think a lot of white moms make it. Uh, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it, it? It's in one of those you know clear cake dishes. It's a layered cake, so it's angel food cake with like different kinds of jello, like red, blue. Uh-huh. And then inside are like strawberries, blueberries, and whipped cream and stuff like that. And it's like a it's like an American cake. I don't know how I feel about 
that texture would that would throw me off. Yeah, Jello with um, cake. Cake. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, Chief. White people do the darndest things. White people are just the funniest beings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready to take it away, partner? I suppose so. Like, All right. So on the topic of food. My first story. So I'm going to read this off my phone this week instead of my desktop because I, okay, uh, King. I'm King. using uh, an external thing up. to capture my camera. Ooh. So I'm not being unprofessional by looking at my phone. I'm just, I need it. I need it. I need it. All right. So this first post is posted by user Gloomy Isopod 8132 Am I the weenie for poisoning my housemate who ate my food without my permission and ended up in the ER? I, 19 male, recently moved into a shared place and there's someone who keeps stealing my food. At first I thought it was just a mistake, but even my leftovers were being eaten. It was very clear that the person was doing it on purpose. I spoke to my housemates about how I would just prefer to be asked first, but they were nonchalant about it and none of them had admitted to doing it. And I hadn't caught anyone in the act doing so, I just tried to ignore it as it only happened every couple, uh, as it only happened every couple days or so. A few days ago, I came home from work with a carton of eggs that I found while dumpster diving and some bread. I wanted to give the eggs the water test first before eating them just to make sure that they're safe to consume. But I was too tired and went to bed early without eating. The next day, I found out that one of my housemates got so sick, he ended up having to go to the emergency room. My eggs were not in the fridge where I left them, but I saw the carton and shells in the trash and my bread was opened. I had a hunch that it was him because there was a possibility that the eggs had gone bad, but I was also annoyed at the fact that he helped himself to my food without asking. Yeah, that's like the number one rule, roommates, and just work fridge with your coworkers. Don't eat food that's not yours. It's like, and if you do, replace it. I feel like that's more for roommates, but it's so easy to just not be a dick. <laughs> yeah. Janice's chicken parm in the back of the work fridge, that's been there for four weeks. You can eat that. You can have that. You can have that. You might pass away after the first bite, but... Yeah, you might go see the big chicken parm in the sky. You know <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> when he came back, I asked him if he'd eaten my eggs and bread, but he denied. Then I said, okay, but I hope whoever ate them doesn't get as sick as you did because I found the eggs in the dumpster. His face immediately dropped and he looked visibly uncomfortable. He got ang it's like like in an anime when like a character just gets so annoyed their face just it like implodes in on itself yeah. kind of you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just getting uh, into anime now by the way. Good. 28 years of my life and I'm just now getting into anime. Isn't that isn't that You know, you know cute? have you seen Vox uh, Machina? No. It's I, real good. You should definitely So Ashley Johnson voices one of the You already got me. Yeah. Ashley Johnson got <laughs> yeah. me there. All right. Uh, also, the first anime that I ever tried getting into was uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh, I really God. liked it. I, and then, I watched that a very tiny. And then I saw the episode with the Chimera, which is like the third fucking episode. <laughs> and he said, I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> no, I, I, I like I, I was going to go back to it, but I remember being so upset about that that I just I put it down. I was like, I'll go back to it tomorrow. And I just never did. <laughs> Tomorrow never came. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow never came. But I just finished more. Sorry, guys, we're going off the path here. Morgan wants to get wanted to get me into anime, and I said sure because I've been wanting to for a while. She so a weeb? she, I think yeah 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 yeah. Good. yeah. Good um, for her. So uh, we uh, we watched um, first thing that we watched was classic Spirited Away, and then we got into my first series, which was Cowboy Bebop. I've heard good just things. finished Cowboy Bebop. Loved it. Next, we're going to start sh uh, Samurai Shampoo. I thought you were going to say Samurai same... Jack. <laughs> no, I, I, would like, I would like to watch Samurai Jack. I've never seen it. Samurai Jack is, is good. I've heard it's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah, anyway. He got angry and went from saying that he may have consumed the food by mistake as he wasn't paying attention and doesn't exactly remember uh, and accused me of poisoning him. Sorry, this is all he. worded very weird. <laughs> him. <laughs> He said that it's a health hazard to bring such food in communal spaces without warning everyone first, as it's not uncommon for people in shared places to eat other people's food by mistake. So, wait, so he brought the eggs from a dumpster? Is that what you're speaking to me? Yes. <laughs> a few days ago, I came home from work with a carton of eggs that I found while dumpster diving and some bread. Why? I don't know. Okay, I guess, I okay. Know. 
maybe uh, uh, just uh, I don't know. Maybe they need, really desperately need to pay the electric bill. I don't know. They couldn't go hey, grocery man, shopping, it's hard so they out had to here. go to the they had to go to the big grocery store up back. The big grocery store, big Walmart. Any landfill is a Walmart if you just think about it. <laughs> think really hard, close your eyes a little, and then leave. <laughs> He hasn't spoken to me since then, and my housemates are siding with him and called me disgusting for doing that. Part of me feels like I wasn't wrong because they were my eggs that I was fully intending on eating, and I didn't think I had to warn people against eating food that didn't belong to them. But I also do feel bad and guilty that he got sick. So Reddit, please tell me if I was in the wrong. Edit, just to clarify, because I see some comments that suggest that I may have done it on purpose, I didn't. I have been dumpster diving for some of my food recently, so I was fully intending on eating it, just like I have been eating the food that I have been finding while dumpster diving. I tried to exercise caution, and thankfully it hasn't made me sick yet, but he had not eaten it. I was probably going to end up in the ER myself because I was obviously going to eat it. I didn't randomly do it just to try uh, to bait and catch whoever was eating my food. Food poisoning is not a joke. As I said, I just moved recently, and I'm trying to get on my feet. I also understand that although I make sure to wipe my food first, ultimately it is gross to... The fact that you have to wipe your food and that's the thing that you have to... Uh, yeah, finish and then I'll, I'll speak. Ultimately it is gross to put food that came from a dumpster in a communal fridge or pantry and will not continue to do so. I will just put it in my room from now on. Huh. Okay. So did they say OP was man, woman? OP is a 19-year-old male. Okay, yeah. King, what? Why are you why are you getting your food from your dumpster, brother? Well, he's probably he said that he's like he just moved and he's trying to get on his feet. You damn. know, I can't fault the man. That's you know. rough, but damn. Like when it gets to that point, if it's one of my roommates, I'd be like, Why? <laughs> why? I will give you a hundred dollars if you need to go get your own food right now, but like I Yeah, that's rough. I also don't want to cast a lot of judgment onto this person because no. obviously they're struggling if, yeah. they're, if they're going dumpster diving for but food. But that's so dangerous. Like It is very dangerous. You, you know, don't it's know, like, man. You don't know how long it's been sitting there. You don't know how long it's been, you know. Granted, um, a lot of places like throw out their shit yeah. when it's still good, but like that's like a very slim Yeah, it's depending on how deep you're diving into these dumpsters. Yeah, like that's 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 wild. And with the whole roommates, you know, eating their food and everything and just it happening constantly. I, I just think the roommate's the asshole. Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm not. This person wasn't trying to do it on purpose. Like they didn't really say how like well off or not well off the roommates are. Yeah. I haven't caught anyone in the axe if I just tried to ignore it as it only happened every couple days or so. If it's happening every couple days, I would be pissed. I would be fucking Like I wouldn't it, like throw hands or like scream or anything, but I'd be like, hey, guys. Like, come on, man. Like, if you don't have food, let me know. Just don't take my shit without saying anything. These are my dumpster eggs. Like, come on, bro. Play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. Another case of fucking around and finding out. So the general consensus, what do you think it is? Hopefully not the weenie. Yes. Nice. Not the weenie. Also, uh, comment here. Also, dumpster diving is not disgusting, albeit it's not oh. for everyone. <laughs> Comments, com Sorry, that's crazy. <laughs> comments under this, like, yeah, I agree. Dumpster diving is lit, and although I've never done it, people who uh, who do are doing good work. Um, I've often found good, solid furniture in the dumpster, whose only crime was... Okay, like, that's that's reasonable, but food? Have you ever, like, dumpster dove for, like, furniture or just random shit that wasn't food? Yeah. I'm not talking about, like, diving into a fucking dumpster like Scrooge McDuck yeah, diving into, like... Yeah, like, next you know, to it or just, like, you know... Yeah, you know, if it looks perfectly I fine, you, know, you take it out, you 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 spray it down a little bit with some soap and some, you know, so you, you spray the dawn on there and, you, you know, you get the hose and you spray that shit. Got some solid chairs. It's good as used. Good as used. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's different. Food, though? Mm. Granted, I'm not going to judge anybody for what they have to do. Like, you can't starve yourself. You need to eat. But I just think if you have the option to not, then maybe don't. Because that could not be that sanitary and, like, edible. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know when they threw it out, at least. Unless you physically watched them when they threw it out and then, like, checked the dates and shit. Then okay, maybe. Uh, there's another comment here. They have cages for fridges. 
I didn't know that. Huh? Uh, you can put your f- that you can put your food in. I know people were suggesting mini cages. fridges, but a food cage. Yeah. Also, some people in the comments were suggesting that OP get a mini fridge and put it in their room. See, that's smart. But it's sad that it has to come to that. Yeah. Uh, it would to me. It would be sad if it had to come to this. I didn't know this was a thing. Uh, I know people were suggesting mini fridges, but a food cage is cheaper if you're interested. You lock your food in it and put it in the fridge. You shouldn't have to, but your roommate is going to continue to be a deadbeat mooch, so it will help. Just yeah. Google food cage for fridge, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Not the weenie. That comment was from You're Not Special. Another comment. Yeah, your roommates are weird. I have four kids: 18 years old, 15 years old, 13 years old, and 10 years old. And each have their own snack shelves in my home, one in the fridge and one in the pantry. If a sibling stole food, it would be World War III, and I would ground them from the front. <laughs> I mean, I, you've, you've never lived with roommates, right? No. You've never had, like, a roommate situation? Besides okay. my family. But they're, have, you have, know. Your, have they ever eaten your food? <laughs> yeah, many a times. I wanted to throw hands. I can't. I don't think my roommates ever ate my food. I think maybe I had, like, some, like, Elio's pizza or, like, uh pizza rolls or just like something in the freezer that I wasn't eating and I had a roommate that was really hungry and was like can I have like some of this I'd be like yeah go for it Uh, but that's the difference they ask exactly that's the thing you you have to ask yeah it's It's so easy to ask it's so easy to ask this next one this was posted by user Henry can't shit would I be the asshole if I told a workmate I feel uncomfortable sharing the men's room with them and ask them not to go at the same time as me uh oh to make short of it, I went to use the the WC. Uh, what is that? Wash what? closet. Company. The wash closet? <laughs> Maybe. I don't, I don't Is think that so. a thing? The wash closet? Work closet? I don't know. The work closet. <laughs> I don't you know go into a janitor's is. closet and you just shit on the floor. <laughs> Yum. I'm just going to assume that's the bathroom because it's okay. uh, to make sure of it. I went to use the WC while at work the other day. Uh, when I opened the door, I was surprised to see a young lady. Um, e 19 question mark, a new hire from another department standing by the sink. I apologized, took a step back to double check the sign on the door, but I was correct. So I started back in with E. Oh, uh, Oh, wait, no, sorry. I apologize. E. <laughs> e. That's what it's like. F. The young lady is E. Okay. That's just the letter E. That's fine. Uh, 19 and then question mark where, you know, normally the gender would go. So I'm assuming they just don't know what their gender is. I'm assuming okay. this person might be transgender. Mm. I apologize and took a step back to double check the sign on the door, but I was correct. So I started back in when E rushed out past me with their head down, muttering out a sorry. I didn't think too much about this. I figured that there was something wrong with the women's or maybe she'd accidentally gone into the wrong toilet. I thought this was a one-off. I'm fairly regular, however, and I might have to go about two to three times throughout the workday. E's presence has become a semi-regular occurrence, as it seems we have more than one overlapping schedule. (laughs) Oh my fucking god. I love when our poop schedules cross. All right, um... (laughs) I'm sorry, wait, he says he's pretty regular, so he has to go two to three times at work. Throughout the work day, yeah. That's crazy. Okay. How many times do you pro- how many times do you poop at None. I refuse to shit in public where people can hear me and be in the same bathroom as me. And I feel like with guys' bathrooms, I feel like there's three different guys shitting violently at the same time at all times. Oh, yeah, times. there's always there's <laughs> always some dude that is just fighting for his life yeah. in a stall. Like, uh, I've I don't think I've ever had one of those moments uh, i've had pee moments but i've never had that oh yeah just... i'll piss like a horse if i need to but i will not shit i have pushed a woman over before oh, accidentally. accidentally 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 because i needed to run to the bathroom to pee that's crazy you said move bitch <laughs> I... <laughs> face palmed her just like pushed her like into the wall <laughs> I needed to run up the escalator to go to the nearest bathroom because it was either that or I needed to backtrack through the mall, the crowded mall to go to the food court bathroom. So Uh I instantly turn around and start running, not realizing that there was this woman literally like a couple (laughs) inches behind me. I turn around and I start like running. And (laughs) you just ran over a fucking. I didn't knock this lady. I did not knock this lady over. I kind of like wrapped my arms around her and was just like, "Sorry." (laughs) I can see it, bro. That's 
That's so fucking funny. Yeah, because like remember when we went to the arcade? Because like this stuff happens to me all the fucking time where it's like I don't mean to like hurt somebody, just, but like it just you just you just assault women unintentionally. <laughs> I do. I really do because I would never do it otherwise. This is obviously. <laughs> so another quick story. Uh, before I be was this my last story? I can't remember. Yes, it was. Fuck. Okay. Okay. This one time we were we were at PAX and we. <sighs> Village you know, no, giant video game convention. It's like Comic Con, but for video games. Anyway, we were at this arcade bar. We were shooting like the basketballs, you know, <laughs> and whatnot. And I shoot one, like bounces off the rim and comes back, and it's gonna go over my head, right? <laughs> so I go up and catch it so it doesn't hit anybody. <laughs> I'm so into this game that I did not realize that I fucking. <laughs> Punched this girl in the face behind me. Was not part of our group. <coughs> just fucking straight on, just socked her in the fucking oh. face. He said, I got it. <laughs> I was like leaning back to like grab it with like one hand. And when I went like that, I guess the girl was right behind me and just went boop. Oh my God. I didn't realize bro. that a crowd was forming behind <sighs> us. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, were, you were playing like Kobe Bryant over there. So yeah. That you I, like, I was doing pretty good, man. I was doing pretty good. I was getting all them tickets. Ooh, that's funny, man. God, that was fucking. I'm pretty sure you were the one that told that came up and told me that I hit that I hit that girl. Really? I think I was like by the bar, like a little bit behind you, and then you came up and told me what happened. <laughs> oh my god! You should have just agreed with me for the sake of the story. <laughs> yes, I was there. I saw you hit that woman. <laughs> yes, I I witnessed. Yeah. I witnessed the fight. I would have let her kick my ass, to be quite honest mm -hmm. with you. I apologized to her, and she was she was just like, it's fine, it's fine. It's so fucking funny, oh my god. I just think it's funny that I didn't realize it until after. <laughs> just uppercut someone. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I didn't realize it until I I didn't realize it until I got a hundred thousand tickets and I turned around and she was just unconscious on the ground. She <laughs> was just laying behind me for some reason. Yeah. Anyway, I'm no longer allowed in that arcade in Boston. <laughs> anyway, I was banned that night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the next time I saw E was two days ago. She was standing at the sink again, touching her hair in the mirror, but I didn't hesitate this time. I walked in and started straight towards the <laughs> urinal to do my business. <laughs> I just got the visual of you just... <laughs> Almost running someone over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even that big of a guy. Like I can I'm... see you starting to run and then just colliding with someone. <laughs> Holy fuck. Sorry. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I walked in and started, uh, and started straight to the urinal to do my business. I think I made her scared because she hurried out again with her head down and her arms over her chest. I felt bad since I'm a fairly large man at 6'1", and they can't be bigger than 5'6". I'm aware I can be intimidating and don't want to make anyone feel like I'm a threat to them, especially a woman who's in the men's. Oh my God. She shouldn't even be in there in the first place, right? <laughs> At least not nearly as much as she is. As I saw her again the same day coming out of a stall, I thought about ignoring her again and just going to the stall, but my curiosity won. I said, oh God. We can't keep running into each other like this. People get suspicious, you know? <laughs> Trying to break the awkward tension. What are you doing here? I asked her. She said that she was sorry that our manager had told her that she had to use the men's. I said that was ridiculous and wanted to know why she'd have to do that. He just stood there, looking at the ground, then let out a long sigh before just asking me to move out of the way of the exit. Of course, I did. I didn't realize I was blocking the exit. He looked up at me on the way out with tears welling up in her eyes and quietly said that she didn't have a gender certification. I talked to our manager about this situation and she confirmed to me that E is a male and asked to use the men's or neutral uh, oh WC God. to make the other ladies and customers more comfortable until they legally changed their records. I told her about my discomfort sharing a toilet with E, but she told me there wasn't anything she could do until E got a GRC. Uh, to be honest, this news was very shocking to me as I fully believe they were a biological female from birth, but I guess I haven't really spent too much time around them outside our bathroom run-ins. Now I've got another shift coming up with E, and I'm worried about meeting them in the bathroom again. Would I be a weenie if I asked them to use the other bathroom or to go yes. at a different time? Or maybe to dress a bit less feminine if they're going to be using the men's? 
See, we had to we had to like get a lot of bits and jokes in there because that last little wow. bit. Wow, what a fucking piece of bitch. Comment here, deja vu. As said before, your workplace is likely violating the 2010 Equality Act. A GRC is not required for a trans woman, which is what your colleague is, not a male, to be treated without discrimination, which includes using the women's toilets. Get over yourself and HR shouldn't start planning to pay... Oh, get over yourself and HR should start planning to pay out over both violating your colleague's privacy and discriminating against her. Quit trying quit trying to make her like harder... Uh... I'm confused. I don't think they understand. Because E is a man, yes? Talk to our manager about the situation and she confirmed me that E is a male. Yes. That comment is confused because they're misgendering him. <laughs> uh, comment here. How could he have known she's transgender? He didn't make her out. Uh, Why is everyone saying he... she? <laughs> like, what? Uh, this other comment. You're the weenie. I get that at first, but you thought she was a cis woman. Now you... But now you know... What the fuck? Did I just not read this right? I'm, I read this right. Why is everyone saying she? Can you send me a link to that story? Because he keeps like OP was saying she, and then he went to yeah. the manager and said, "Oh no, he is a is a man." No, we both misunderstood. Sorry. Yeah. So sh she's a trans woman, and the manager okay. is saying, "So the the women won't be uncomfortable that she has to use the men's bathroom." Oh. Yeah. So the manager's a piece of shit. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're just fucking stupid. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, wouldn't be the first time. What do you know? Wouldn't be the first time that was the consensus. God damn it. Sorry. Anyway. Man, definitely going to get people that are going to stop at that video and be like, you guys be just like, didn't anyway, listen. Anyway, death to both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please, God. Please remove me from this mortal coil. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Yeah, I am... No wonder she started crying trying to get out of the fucking bathroom. Damn, that's crazy. I feel awful for E. The manager needs to get fucked. Oh, and that's why she was saying she doesn't have like a like a certification. So she can't use the Yeah, wasn't anything she could do until E got a GRC. Damn, that's crazy that you need a fucking certification just to use the bathroom? What the I hell? I didn't know that at all. That's crazy. People can't get angry at us for that. We weren't no, we're just fucking stupid. We're just stupid. <laughs> we're literally, <laughs> comprehension I mean, is not a thing. <laughs> that makes more sense now. Because I was like, what's happening right now? What do you like? They have to be violating some laws. Like, yeah. the company has I'm, to I'm, be. I'm, I'm scrolling through the comments right now to see if there are any experts in the comments. Yeah. You know, seeing if they're uh, <laughs> violating any. Uh... Well, like the first uh, comment you said, they're violating the 2010 Equality Act. A GRC yes. is not required for a trans woman, which is what your colleague is, not a male, to be treated without discrimination. <clears throat> I see a big payday in this lady's future. You know what I would say? Sue. Yeah, she, I'm sure she has, like, the grounds for it. Threaten to sue, get some money, get that bag, go on vacation. Yeah. And this guy needs to just mind his own fucking business and stop asking. Why is it his business? Why does it matter to you? Just use a stall, you're fine. You don't have to look at anybody. Granted, yeah. I can't even shit in public, but... I don't, I don't go around asking people why they're in the bathroom. They're using the bathroom. Why are you in here? Like, what the fuck? Why else? Number one or number two? <laughs> hey, what are you in for? <laughs> I come here every day at noon to crank one out. Oh, crank one out. Oh. <laughs> so we'll just add that to the list of us being fucking idiots. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Put that Jesus one up on the board. Christ. Put it up on the board, everybody. And another one. <laughs> another one. Well, it's okay, because... It's okay to be gay. Just want to let yeah, you know. But it's not okay to be stupid. No. And we are going to be put to death specifically for being this stupid. episode. Yeah. In particular. Yep. Um, I mean, me more than you because I'm the one that read it. I but picked I this... fully was like, yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> I guess going back to what we say, you know, I dig a hole, you got to dig one I even deeper. Make so... one even deeper. <laughs> yeah. Hope y'all. Uh... <laughs> hope y'all can emotionally recover from this one uh hopefully if you have unsubscribed yet hopefully uh hopefully you'll be here next week <laughs> yeah because we will hopefully if yeah. we're not put to death no i'm sure we'll be fine i'm sure we'll be fine 
But yeah, respect each other, bro. And don't judge other people just for living their lives and being their true selves. You can get fucked. Oh, hang on. There's a knock at my door. Oh. Hang on. One second. I'll be right back. Okay. Hello?